Yo, what's going on, fellas? It's Left with Pete here again with 60 agility. I grinded 384 Falador rooftop course courses, and I got only 81 marks of grace, which is kind of strange for me considering the fact that I had to run like 140 runs more than the Kenefis on the Kenefis rooftop rooftop course. I got like 76 if my memory serves. And I feel like I'll need to grind a little more so I can buy... I'm currently aiming for Graceful Top and Graceful Gloves, which both combined cost 85 marks of Grace. And there we go, that's the 85th mark, Mark of Grace. So I want, I guess, Graceful Top, which is 55 marks of Grace, and Gloves as well. I want to dump uh, first few herbs entirely, but I feel like I need a bank for unnoting the noted herbs. Yeah. So I got five guams. I'll need Eye of Newt, Vial of Water. So how many coins can I actually get by selling 18 coins? Ain't that bad, I guess. I need 30 farming for enlightened journey and I was considering like doing the like herb lore and farming anyways in this episode so I just guess I'll just keep my graceful uh, uh, creep my geeseful pieces now 300 coins how much can I alk the studded chaps for I don't need the candle lantern so I can drop it I need eight Spaces, technically seven for yeah. I do have I do have enough space for one trip of Marantil grind because I got four Marantils. I need four unicorn horns, and they should be south of Edgewell. So I got four uni unicorn horns. So I can, I'll head back to Taverly to Herbal Shop. So I got four anti poison potions. So I'm selling, how much is one? 115 coins, that ain't half bad. As I said, I'm keeping one, just in case. Yeah, that is me passing exams with flying colors, not. So dig side is finally complete. It gives me 18 herb lore with 2000 herb lore XP and also 47 mining. That's really awesome. Now the reason why I kept these three certificates from the dig site is actually if I give them to the curator in the museum in Varrock, he should give me a fruit blast, which is a drink which I actually could use for another cook's quest, which is the whole recipe for disaster. I prefer drink because if I would ask for uh, for food, he would give me a, a chocolate cake, which I don't need. Got the I have new, and I can actually sell some runes here, which sadly I will have to. Just to ease up my inventory space a little more. Chaos rune, yeah, I do it. Cosmic rune, I cannot sell. Law runes, neither. And neither the nature runes. Because I still need some space for rotten tomato friendly dessert fun lump cook that's a pretty weird weird name to be fair oh hell yeah first sub quest is freeing the goblin gener generals which also gives farming xp so i'm gonna head to i'm gonna head for it just wanna do just wanna place my potatoes i think which is potatoes are like the first first allotment yeah potatoes because the payment is too compost which I can just buy here from the farming shop and store it at the, at the, at the leprechaun and there we go goblin journals completed 13 farming there we go 14 farming 15 farming there we go so my current plan is to level up something while my crops are growing and after after I, after I dumped all these seeds, I guess I'll just continue on doing more questing towards herblore and farming. And I guess fletching could do just fine. I, could ju I just got an acorn. 
Can I actually do that? I actually can. Nice, I'll keep that. So I've managed to get level 31 fletching and the crops out of Felidor should be finished by now. So let's see. So I've planted my onions because I have enough potatoes in both of these allotments to pay for them. So I'll just use my time to rake the weeds and hopefully I should have this compost bin running after raking these weeds as well. 16 farming, I'm gonna plant my tomatoes here because the, first of all I don't need to pay for protection of my tomatoes and second thing is I can use them to protect my acorn which will grow into a oak into oak tree so yeah that's awesome as well I just watered my cabbages, watered my potatoes Store the watering can, spade, dibber. Seems like I got 30 minutes before my crops grow back to full. So I guess I'll do some thieving in the meantime. Alright, I'm out of food, so let's continue on my farming journeys. 17 farming, let's go. 18 farming. So now I'm in the shop primarily to buy the sack, but also because I need field plant pot, I believe. And the gardening trowel to do that, alright. Even though I probably have one in in my leprechaun. Yeah, oak seed link, nice. Oh, I made it into oak seed link, that's nice. And I think, I guess I want to place my oak sapling yeah it turned the oak seedling water turned into oak sapling and i think i want to place that i guess in Falador. i've planted the oak tree so i just compost it and water it as well with my watering can and i should pay this woman to protect it for me yeah which means I have no use for these, but oh, for this basket of tomatoes. And we'll see in two hours and 40 minutes, I guess, how that will go. 19 farming, 20 farming, let's go, because that is requirement for Garden of Death quest, which gives nice, really nice amount of farming XP. So I'm gonna finish this this run and then I'll head straight to it. I'll finish it and grab some more of the XP, which means I'll have 14.5k after I do the quest. Let's check the let's check the tree. Why is the oak so big compared to like this one? Can anyone tell me? 467 XP. Damn man. 21 farming. Let's go. 22 farming, let's go. And now since I'm already 22 level on my farming, I'm about to do the Garden of Death quest right now. Man, this is some proper Da Vinci Code stuff, isn't it? Yay! Garden of Death finish, I'm 31 farming, let's goddamn go. Yes. So I guess I just dump my remaining cabbage seeds here on the Osidious. Now would you look at this? While I was waiting for my cabbages to grow, I got the like the Quizmaster random event. And now I finished it, answered all four, and I got all four answers correct. I can choose between a thousand coins and a mystery box, and I'm quite I quite want the mystery box. What's inside? Metro Scimitar. I could use that, not gonna lie. Well folks, that's everything for this episode. I'll hope I'll see you again soon. So peace.